I'm going to show you how to do this one way between group ANOVA in Excel. It is pretty easy and fast. So you're going to go to the data tab up here at the top, data. And if it doesn't have this data analysis button here, what you do is you go to file, options, add-ins. It should already be highlighted. Importante, go to this go button down here. Not okay. Go to go. Click go. You get the box. I just take the top two, click OK, and it should show up here. If it doesn't, then you might have to go to Google and find out what's going on. But let's go ahead and run our ANOVA. We're going to go to Data, Data Analysis, and it's the very top one, ANOVA Single Factor. Click OK. And this is your input range. Uh, basically, highlight all your data, including your labels. I like labels. Make sure the label box is clicked. And your output range, you tell the software where you want to put it. I'm going to put it right there. And click OK. And here's your source of variance table, just like SPSS or the by hand. And you'll notice the numbers are slightly different. It's because of the rounding that we do. But again, we have an F of 2.4, which is not very big. And the p-value is not less than 0.05. And the critical F... If the null were true, we should have got less than 4.25, which we did. So the null is true. It, it, in other words, we cannot reject the null. There was no significant difference between these group means. And the main reason in this specific ANOVA why that happened is because your sample size is teeny weeny. You only got four people per group. All of these calculations always take into account what the sample size it is. So that's, that's how this is done in Excel. MGZ out.